Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Slovakian flying car receives EASA airworthiness. 2022 Brooke Owens Fellows announced. Unvaxxed United pilots remain on unpaid forced leave since November, says organizer. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Slovakian flying car receives EASA airworthiness. Flying cars long seen as a hallmark of futuristic aeronautical technology may finally be on the horizon. Aircar's prototype has been given its first airworthiness certification from the Slovakian Transport Authority, making it the first of its kind to achieve EASA standards. The test process took 70 plus hours of flight and more than 200 takeoff and landing cycles. The aircar reportedly functions throughout the full range of flight and performance maneuvers required, while demonstrating, quote, an astonishing static and dynamic stability in the aircraft mode, end quote. The aircraft is powered by a hybrid power system built around a 1.6-liter BMW engine. In a market segment with a number of historic projects, the flying car has been attempted before, but rarely with such panache and feasibility. With the wings folded into its body, the tail passes for an exuberant aerodynamic wing, not unlike the legendary Superbirds, the sleek, lithe form looking just like any other high-end exotic car. The propeller in the back, of course, gives the charade away, but passing for a car is a trick few projects have been able to pull off. With approval given, the air car shows promise in its journey toward production. After the break, French tourist sentenced to eight years in Iran for drone spying. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. French tourist sentenced to eight years in Iran for drone spying. Iran has sentenced a tourist to nearly a decade in prison. The sentence given consists of eight years for spying and additional eight months for the creation of propaganda against the regime, charges which the French Foreign Affairs Office refer to as, quote, groundless, end quote. His lawyer notes he was not given a fair trial, nor was he given information on his charges. His arrest occurred near what is described by the Iranian government as a restricted area, and his possession of a drone was proof positive of his trade as a spy subverting the Iranian government. Dreamliner woes continue as Boeing takes $4 billion loss. The 787 Dreamliner's production issues will add at least $2 billion to the cost, said the company, doubling an earlier prediction. Boeing saw a rebound in demand for its 737 MAX airliner over 2021, coming back from a strange year before it that saw the plane grounded nearly worldwide. No sooner had it returned to the public's good graces, however, that its larger sibling faced its own issues. The delays have resulted in additional manufacturing costs, inspections, and compensation for customers still waiting on their planes to be delivered. Lightspeed adds flight backpack to pilot equipment range. Fans of old world lasting flight gear have a newly introduced option from flight gear specialist Lightspeed Aviation, the Duke Flight Bag. Lightspeed follows their series of bags named after notable aviators, this time bringing to the fore Neville Frederick Duke. The second World War British test pilot and fighter ace later compiled his experiences writing stories Lightspeed hopes to recall with a full grain oiled cowhide backpack. FAA updates Super Bowl 56 safety plan. The Federal Aviation Administration has drawn attention to the special procedures surrounding the upcoming Los Angeles area 
for the Super Bowl held February 13th. The SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California will receive special protections and temporary flight instructions with a no-drone zone to limit flight activity before, during, and after the game. The restrictions are serious business, listed as a national security concern, but that level of importance has led to a series of assists from the agency. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. 2022 Brooke Owens Fellows announced. The newest batch of Brooke Owens Fellows has been announced, adding 51 new additions to the fold of 198 previous alumni. The fellowship aims to bring valuable career-building opportunities to women in aviation by matching students to specific intern positions at one of the fellowship's industry partners. Once there, the fellow receives two senior or executive-level mentors, one at their host company and one somewhere else in the industry. Over the summer, fellows come together for a summit to network, connect, and skill-build in one-to-one -one mentoring sessions. Fellows remain a part of the network going forward, even once complete with their internship and learning experience. The network gives a strong backing to women throughout their career as they are able to leverage connections to program participants, their mentors, host companies, and supporters, as well as other, quote, extraordinary and passionate women and gender minorities in our alumni network, end quote. The 2022 crop was selected from more than 1,000 applications worldwide, pared down through a process of written and creative submissions, interviews with the fellowship's leadership team and its affiliated network, and final interviews with 36 leading aerospace employers. After these messages, unvaxxed United pilots remain on leave. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon Fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link Hand Control Unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. Unvaxxed United pilots remain on unpaid forced leave since November, says organizer. One captain for United Airlines is decrying her treatment at the company's hands, saying her placement on unpaid leave for insisting on remaining unvaccinated against COVID-19 has left her unable to move onward with her career. Sherry Walker says she can't find another job while cut off from the ability to earn an income, and United has blocked her retirement fund access, preventing her from being able to weather the leave until the issue shakes out in court. The founder of Airline Employees for Health Freedom, a 501c3 nonprofit supporting employee freedom of choice, told reporters, quote, I am out on unpaid leave. I am prohibited from getting another job. I am prohibited from accessing my 401k. I have no medical benefits, and I'm leading the charge in this fight, so my days are consumed, end quote, she said at a protest against legal requirements for medication usage. She said her status as an active employee remains, despite not being allowed to work since November 2021. The status effectively holds her and other pilots in limbo, still technically employed, thus unable to access aid, relief, or assistance. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!